Alright guys, Touch Grove here back again today. Hope you'll enjoy your Saturday once again so far and we have another classic Call of Duty drama story to talk about today. This AGN event here in Indianapolis has been cancelled over the last 24 hours. Effectively, Activision have shut it down and we're like, what the hell are you guys playing at here given the whole pandemic situation that is going on? However, all the players were flying out to the event anyway and they've effectively gone ahead with the event regardless and, uh, well, playing at LAN in person even though technically it's not LAN because they're playing in online servers and therefore AGN think this is some sort of loophole. Intrigued to your thoughts in the comment section below. Honestly, a bit of a disaster. This stuff should never have happened and, uh, well, a lot of members of the community are talking about how this really isn't a good look and, well, Slasher, the uh, prominent esports journalist, just tweeted about this a few minutes before recording. This came out from AGN a couple of days ago then, so six days until LAN. Way earlier this year this was planned. Like, this was planned back in February or March. Like, you could have cancelled this event, like, any, any month from the last, like, four months, right? You could have cancelled it in March, February, you know, April, May, June. Like, you had so much time to cancel this event and just say look this is not the thing to do everything else is being cancelled but we're going to go ahead with it regardless and then of course this comes out yesterday announcement coming at 9 30 and then we get this the indianapolis over summer 2020 after discussions with representatives from activision find this an entertaining phrasing right given like as if like ag had reached out to activision to ask permission it was definitely the other way around and activision were like what are you lads playing at from activision we are deciding to change the indianapolis open to be online only for health and safety concerns players are advised to participate in the tournament from their home location alone. We apologize for any inconvenience. Any inconvenience, like this was literally announced the day before. Um, so far from ideal, in which this may bring upon players, spectators, and organizations. And so uh, we, we look forward to working with Activision for future events. Don't know why there is a full stop on this one. Now, Sibilance, who's been in the news over the last few days, then tweeted this out as Spoons talks about it's a troll tweet, lol. They have to tweet it because of Activision. Then we get this from Alex Gonzalez. Just to get this correct, you decided to cancel your event, checks notes, less than 12 hours after it was supposed to happen after teams have flown out slash booked hotels this shouldn't have been scheduled to happen in the first place especially without contacting activision so the fact that it was cancelled this close to the event is a bit of a disaster but not everyone agrees with the situation as midwest rush says right here you know bars and casinos open that's fine this crowd is fine but running a LAN where we check temperatures at the door require masks upon entry have an ac tent outdoors not okay however um, this opinion is not exactly widely shared throughout the community as we can see in these couple of tweets right here so given the event was over all the players were there anyway they decided to have the LAN at their B&B. &B. So, uh, well, as you can see in this clip right here, I'll put it on the big screen for you guys just to check out. Uh, some people have got masks on, some people haven't, but effectively just playing in the LAN environment in their Airbnb, as it were. And then this clip came out earlier today. I'll put this on the big screen once again of, well, the LAN events taking place as it is right now. Now, technically, as I said at the start of the video, this isn't a LAN event because these guys are actually playing in online servers. Therefore, uh, as I said, agenders as we're looking in a second, think this is something of a loophole where, um, well, they can't be held responsible because, well, it's not actually LAN, the players are just, um, well, they're going against what AGN told them to do because AGN told them to go home. But, um, you know, and I appreciate that from some perspective, but the same perspective, I just can't really excuse the fact that um, they had so many months to cancel this and so many months to deal with it. And um, that would have been certainly the, the responsible thing to do. And I understand that given that all the players are there, it's the players like responsibility and it's their own personal decision whether they decide to actually attend and take that risk. And uh, if it was just the players organizing it off their own back without an organization being involved, then that would would just be like their own decision making I suppose uh, you know reckless or not as you might decide to see it fit but um, yeah the fact that AGN are behind this and then have to cancel it just before because Activision say what are you playing at um, it's just not a good look and I'm not even sure to be honest if any legal repercussions might follow on from this but certainly not ideal this is what's going down just today and may well continue for the rest of the weekend and this is what Bryce and some other key members of the community have to talk about translated tweet we made a terrible and incomprehensible decision to hold a land event in the middle of the pandemic we decided not to cancel or postpone until Activision found out and shut it down. We'll now be online as we should have been. Sorry about the flights and hotels. Yeah, I highly doubt they'll be working with Activision on anything anytime soon. Having an open LAN event right now is just the, the most reckless thing ever. These Asian morons, stress morons, could have been could have been a horrifically bad beat for our entire industry. I can't think of anything more stupid than cramming 200 players and staff and gear into a 4,000 square foot LAN center of a tournament. Absolute idiots and uh, 
uh, well, some replies to this from Trey, from Deserto Mike, from Matt Misdirects, of course, Joey Nubsy as well, and just all of this stuff right here. And um, then it follows up with this. Congrats, AGN Events, officially on the never work with list for the entire industry. Irresponsible and reckless. Wait, I thought they said it was being moved to online only. They released the statement as a smokescreen and went through with the event. And as Quattro says over at AGN, no, sir, we are hosting an online event. Gage, you're not as smart as you think you are. Your loophole of having people randomly come in is going to bury you. Don't be, you know, it's not too late. Don't be this stupid. And, um, you know, Saul Gaza thinks this is some sort of threat. No, it's about business being in jeopardy for clearly running something they were told not to run. Stop. Activision approved our online tournament. And then there's uh, Bryce's reply to this. I mean, quote tweeting a video of your event, clearly letting players play, even though it was moved to online, has to take the cake for the dumbest thing on Twitter today. Does he think people were against the actual local network or something? Um, and then there's Op2 says, but Bryce, they're playing an online lobby, so it's an online tournament. Come on, bro. Phew, that's okay then. This one was kind of funny. At least online servers have good antivirus. Um, and then we get this as well. So another cracking thread here from Sims. Ah, yes, holding an open LAN event in the middle of a global pandemic with zero social distancing precautions in place just to add insult to injury. Fantastic work. And um, yeah, they're having them play online and call it not on LAN and we can't stop people from showing up at the LAN center where it was supposed to be happening and playing online um, while their staff admins are on site at said LAN center, right? So even though AGN are saying that, well, it's nothing to do with us because the players just happen to be here. We've canceled it. It's going to be online and there's nothing we can do stopping them come along. At the same time, there's some people saying, oh, well, they just left the key under the doormat, right? And said, oh, let yourselves in, lads. And uh, we've got nothing to do with it. And then as Adam App says, the fact that they might have uh, staff admins on the site isn't a good look as well from a number of perspectives. This is what AGN have to say. AGN has nothing to do with the players or had nothing to do with the players congregated at any land center. We do not condone them being there. We have asked everyone to play from home or their B&B, which, um, you know, I appreciate the sentiment of this. But the fact of the matter is, if you're not canceling the event until Activision tell you to 12 hours before the event is actually going to kick off, who is really to blame for this situation, right? Given that everyone's already there, has the Airbnbs, the equipment's already there, paid for and set up and ready to go. And, um, you know, I, I can't, it's difficult to blame anyone else, right, to be honest. Now, the players certainly have personal responsibility. And if they feel like they want to take the risk to go on for long to these events, then, you know, they perfectly well can do that. But the fact of the matter is, it doesn't diminish AGN's role in this situation that has gone down. And then as Trent says, let me get this straight, AGN events move the event online. Players who already traveled to Indy decided to go to the land center despite AGN moving the event online. How is this AGN's fault that the players went there despite not being advised to? Which, um, you know, as I've just said, pretty much their fault for not canceling this sooner, in my opinion. And as Serge Bob says then over at the Seattle Surge, if you're a COD player at the AGN events land in Indy, you won't sniff a professional CDL opportunity. This was, to me, honestly, a surprising statement because I can't imagine this is particularly true. Um, if you, Especially from Seattle Surge, right, given that Seattle Surge are probably a team that actually needs amateur Call of Duty players more than pretty much any in the league. Um, and, you know, the fact that you're attending this event and, okay, you, you could argue that it's, like, lacking a responsibility or whatever if you're going to go along to this one. Then again, most players aren't playing at this event. They're playing in the last chance qualifier this weekend. So it's not exactly a particularly high caliber of players, I imagine, that are going to these events because most of them are playing online in the LCQ to qualify for champs. But um, yeah, still an interesting statement regardless. I thought it was interesting given Seattle Surge's position, right? The fact that they're potentially turning down good talents for going to an event, which really isn't going to, you know, no one's going to remember in a few months' time, to be honest, that these players went or didn't go. And just to finish off then from Adam Apicella, sad part is every publisher, every team, every tournament organizer, every agency is dying to find smart, reliable self-starters to hire in this space. A group of 20-year-olds starting a cool land circuit is a great story. However, today is an example of another trait we like to avoid, that being recklessness. Intrigued to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Like if you guys enjoyed the video, subscribe if you're new as always. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.